Hey, what's up, what's up, my trucker, Seymour 3 here. It is a golden privilege to have access again into your life. Truckers, if you would be so kind and be a blessing to me, where I can be a blessing to others, subscribe to this channel. And at the end of this teaching, if it's been a blessing to you, give it a big thumbs up. It is going to ensure that this channel gets in front of the right people. I'm teaching on this topic today and I want to do this very quickly. This is going to be called 16 questions to ask your recruiter. 16 questions to ask your recruiter. Whether your recruiter is with Swift or another company, these are 16 questions that you should ask your recruiter. Diamond number one, what routes do you have available? What routes do you have available? Very important question. Diamond number two. What is the home time for this route? Say if you're going to, uh, to be regional with a company, you want to ask what is the home time? If you're going to be over the road, you want to ask what is the home time? Of course, if you're local, you know you're going to be home every night. Diamond number three. What is my training pay? What is my training pay while I, while I am in training? Very important. What is my training pay? Diamond number four. What is my pay after training? What is my pay after training? Diamond number five. Does the company offer guaranteed pay? Does the company offer guaranteed pay? Some companies offer right after you get off of your training pay. Some companies offer guaranteed pay for six months. Why? Because you are a new driver and you're still learning. And they do not want to lose you. So their concept is we're going to offer you guaranteed pay just say for six months. And in that time, you should be able to get the hang of things and get off the guaranteed pay and uh, be able to increase your salary. Diamond number six. How long is my training period? How long is the training period? How long will you be riding with a trainer? Is it four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks? You need to know that. Diamond number seven. How long is the orientation? How long is the orientation? Is it one day? Is it two days? Three days? How long is the orientation? And with that, let me add this. Will I get paid for orientation? Will I get paid for orientation? So all of that is in diamond number seven. How long is the orientation and will I get paid for orientation and how much is the pay? Diamond number eight, does the company offer tuition reimbursement? Does this company offer tuition reimbursement? Now, those of you who may be uh, in school with a particular company, uh, you will have to sign a contract with that company if you're uh, in their school. And usually they want you to stay with the company around a year because that gives them a chance uh, to get their money back for sending you to school. So diamond number eight is, is there tuition reimbursement? Uh, for those of you who did not uh, go to someone or go to a company school, you want to ask that uh, particular question. Diamond number nine, do you offer per diem? Do you offer per diem? What per diem is, is it's like a daily allowance for the trucker. And you want to ask the recruiter, does this company offer a per diem? Do I get a daily allowance uh, for uh, my needs daily? So, diamond number 10, will I be able to take my truck home? Will I be able to truck, uh, take my truck home? Now, I know a lot of regional drivers and over-the-road drivers, they are able to take their truck home. 
uh, some of them have to leave them on a particular yard, uh, designated yard, but most of them for the most part are able to take it home. Local drivers, they do what's called a slip seat, so not too many local drivers are able uh, drivers are able to take their truck home. But this is a very important question. Will I be able to take my truck home? That's diamond number 10. Diamond number 11. Is there an APU in your trucks? Is there an APU in your trucks? Most company have something that's called idling. And what that means is that the engine is running and the truck is idling. And that, as you know, that burns fuel. And so if the truck has an APU installed in it, what happens is you're able to turn that engine off and that APU runs everything in that cabin there. So you really do not have to deal with any fuel loss, idling loss, because that APU is ran by diesel. Uh, itself. It just helps saves the engine and it helps saves um, idling. So diamond number 11 you want to ask is there an APU in your trucks? Diamond number 12 uh, are your trucks uh, equipped with inverters? Are your, truck in, are your trucks equip, equipped with inverters? And usually most for the most part most trucks are. Inverters are where you can hook up your microwave and hook up all type of things like that, your refrigerators, your outlet, you know, you plug your outlets there. And so if you do not have an APU, you definitely want to have inverters in your truck. So another question to ask, diamond number 12, are inverters equipped in your trucks? Diamond number 13, does the company offer detention pay? does the company offer detention pay and with that question you want to uh, also ask after how long sometimes detention pay is after two hours so you need to know that does your company offer detention pay and after how long does detention pay kick in diamond number 14 does the company offer layover pay does the company offer layover pay Diamond number 14. Diamond number 15, does the company offer breakdown pay? Does the company offer breakdown pay? And in this, you want to also ask, if I'm broke down and I have to spend a night in the hotel, does the company pay for my hotel? Very important. And diamond number 16, I'm going to wrap this up with this. Are pets and riders welcome? Are pets and riders welcome? Uh, most companies do allow small pets. Most companies do allow riders. Uh, they have a time frame. It may not be while you're in training, or some may be after 30 days after you've been with, or 30 or 90 days after you're bit, you have been with the company. But this is very important to ask. Do you allow pets and do you allow riders? And like I say, most companies do. You have to pay a small fee uh, for pets and you have to pay a small fee for your riders. My friends, again, it's a, such a great privilege to have access into your life today. I just be believe something good is happening for you. I believe that you're on the right course to connect to the right trucking company. And I am so proud of you. I do believe that new doors are going to open for you. Just be patient. They're going to open. You're going to choose the right company. This has been 16 questions to ask your recruiter.